Blueprint for a Sustainable World. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 479. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. Uh, this is our May 29th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is a blueprint for a sustainable world. We are creating a blueprint for a sustainable world, and everything you see happening in the background of the video here are pieces of that blueprint. And our blueprint isn't just physical blueprints, it's also emotional blueprints. And so every week I talk about the different components of our project, and I'm going to do it again this week. So our project is built on the physical foundations of sustainability and emotional foundations of sustainability and putting those together to create an environment that most people consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And the physical foundations of sustainability, and these are all part of the blueprints for a sustainable world, of course, are food, energy, and housing. The emotional foundations of sustainability are what we've identified as fulfilled living practices, what we call high skid approaches to education, economics, and true earth stewardship. And so our blueprint for a sustainable world takes all of these and puts it together in one environment, and we're making it easy enough affordable enough and we're designing it to be demonstrated as attractive enough so that the idea will spread on its own. And so our blueprint for a sustainable world is that. It's a self-replicating model designed to take the physical foundations of sustainability, combine it with the emotional foundations of sustainability, and show people that it's better than the way they're living right now and make it easy enough and affordable enough so that anybody so that people can replicate it anywhere in the world. And so this is our blueprint for a sustainable world. Demonstrate sustainability, radical sustainability is, a, is a, a more enjoyable, more affordable, more enriching way of living and create selfish humanitarianism and philanthropy by making it easy enough, affordable enough so that it will spread on its own so people can replicate it anywhere in the world and support people in doing that. To demonstrate that the everyone for themselves paradigm is something in the past and the new cooperative and collaborative uh, paradigm of how can we work together to create the most amazing, mind-blowing, enjoyable environment possible and share that with the world is the way of the future. This is what we're doing. Blueprint for a sustainable world built on selfish philanthropy and humanitarianism, humanitarianism by creating luxury community living and open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-yourself instructions for replication and showing just how luxurious it can really be, you know? And just like on a really basic level, you know, from our perspective, the idea of luxury means growing food that is not sprayed with poison. It means an education program that parents who want to be can be really involved in that teaches kids not just what to learn, but how to learn, how to be creative and maximize their creative potential and creating an environment where they can maximize and apply their creative potential and be a part of the creative process, in our case of world change and making it all modular. So for people that look at what I'm saying or hear what I'm saying, it's like, that is crazy. Like, I don't want to live in that environment. No, I don't want to do that. But making it modular, so it's like, well, maybe you want to build a sustainable guest house, or maybe you'd like to grow some food that isn't sprayed with poison, that is more diverse than what you can get in the grocery store, because grocery stores won't sell this variety of such and such because it doesn't have enough of a shelf life, or there's just not enough of a market for it. Or maybe you want to apply our education program and start a community-based, home-based home education program in your own communities, something like that. Or maybe you want to apply some of our sustainability tools, tutorials, and resources for, like we've done recycling tutorials on every aspect of recycling, clothing, paper, glass, styrofoam, plastic, all these things. Maybe that's something that you want to apply. All of it is modular so that there's something there for everyone. That's what we're creating. And it's all created to the best of our ability with the consciousness for the highest good of all people in life on this planet. So from our perspective, it doesn't matter 
if people use it to build communities, if people use our tutorials to build just something for themselves, it's still a step in the right direction because we've done the best that we can to make radically sustainable and highest good decisions at every step of the design process so that what we're creating is the best that it can be for you and your family, for me and my family, for the planet, for everything on this planet. This is our idea of a blueprint for a sustainable world. And we talk about open source project launch blueprinting, which is, means that we're not just open sourcing and free sharing everything we're creating. We're open sourcing and free sharing the exact process of creating it so that it can be used to launch additional projects so that what we're creating is a foundation where we can build upon that to achieve that critical mass, to achieve that tipping point of participation using teacher demonstration hubs designed to create additional teacher demonstration hubs, teaching people how to create teacher demonstration hubs, showing them how to replicate everything that we're doing so we can reach that critical mass, that tipping point, so that every single person on this planet that wants to participate can. So there's something there for everyone. So there's a place for everyone that wants to participate and letting human ingenuity, human creativity create the variety necessary to supply what the world needs so that every single person that's like, I'd like to participate in this, but this is the exact flavor that I'd like, either can find that or they have everything that they need to create that. And so this is how our blueprint for a sustainable world includes everybody. And this is how if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, attractive enough so it spreads on its own, we know that we can create a world that works for everyone within our lifetime. We can involve the entire human, we could involve the entire human population with a self-replicating model like this within 30 years. Do we need to do that though? No, we just need to reach that, that critical mass, that tipping point, so that everybody who wants to has a place where they can participate. And so that even all those that are not participating are positively impacted in some way by what is it we're creating. This is our goal, this is our mission, this is what One Community is doing. So um, if you like this sort of thing, like and subscribe. It's the easiest way to support us. Um, if you'd like to see everything that we're creating, visit our website. If you'd like to see everything we've created in the last week and what our whole, our all-volunteer, non-profit, non-governmental organization, I'm a volunteer as well, 100% non-profit team has created in the last week, visit our written blog. Uh, if you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to participate, if you'd like to contribute, uh, visit our helping page. And if you'd like to help our YouTube algorithm, stick around for two more minutes and watch the bullet points of uh, each of our major components of our project. And uh, yeah, that's what we're up to. Thanks for watching to the end. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.